Okay. Let's see how everything is going. Hello, everyone. Hi, Anna. How are you? Can you guys see and hear me okay? Oh, stuck in my ring. Put my hair up and get that out of the way. Yes, no, see and hear fine. Okay. So Anna says she can hear me fine. Hi, Sky Lord, how are you? So, um, I just wanted to pop on live because <laughs> October has been a month of just everything that can possibly go wrong will go wrong. Um, so unfortunately my Inktober project is, like I said in the first video, is going to probably finish out the year for me. So the project will be going until probably the end of December, who knows. Um, if I do all 31, I haven't decided how many I'm going to do, but I really like what I'm doing with it and I want to see how far I can take it. So um, I didn't want to do an update video because um, <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the aesthetic of the, the series. So um, I thought I would pop on today and I'm going to be working on my iPad. We did a uh, we started a project on the last live stream that was going to be separate and I no longer, whoops, double tap, come on, um, wanted to keep it separate. So this is just going to be part of the Inktober and I figured I would work on it live again. Anna says she didn't finish Inktober and don't want to. Well, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> Like, a part of me wants to get all Christmassy and whatever, but, like, I really, I don't know, I like creepy things all year round, so I'm just going to keep going with it. And Skylord says they are fine and you. I am hanging in there, if that makes any sense. Uh, like I said, it's been a month of nonstop drama, and it's just one thing after another. Uh, we had to get a new car, we had to get a new furnace, um, we hired some people to do um, a deck project and they just kind of abandoned us, uh, so I'm very completely stressed out and uh, unfortunately the fleas in our area are causing some problems, so it's been a few weeks of that. Um, and we just got notice from Frontline saying that their product is actually not working in our area. Um, so we're like trying to figure out how to go about getting a new product and things like that. And a bunch of people are struggling with fleas in our area. So I'm like nonstop vacuuming and just, it's just one thing after another. So I figured I'd come on and update you guys because I wanted to live stream or have a video up on Halloween, but because my furnace was getting done that day, which is behind this curtain I couldn't get in here so um, I got stuck with doing it today um, Anna says she's working on a Christmas tutorial and so no more inktober you're done <laughs> well I don't blame you <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> I really liked the project and the wicked thing that I was uh, doing so I'm just going to kind of maybe try to winterize it as I go um, but I'll probably just throw some Christmas stuff in from here on out, but, um, I do plan on finishing this project, so that's what I am going to do. All right, um, so let me, uh, kind of review what we have done here. Um, this is what we did on the last live stream on this channel and we were going to make a witch cafe poster and this is kind of how we decided we were going to lay it out. Um, originally I was going to coffee stain 
my paper and pick like some warm tones um, but that didn't end up working out because um, I suck at life so <clears throat> these little things here are what I drew in my other sketchbook and I just took a photo and put them in here and just kind of I'm going to finish the layout in this area um, I don't really feel like inking or dealing with water bottles right now so um, I figured I would just work on my iPad and kind of get this layout all situated um, so I can just go from there uh, so the next thing that I wanted to work on was this frog's breath area and the idea that I had for this part was to put um, an actual frog in a in a jar kind of like similar to I think it was Nightmare Before Christmas and kind of have that on there and so that's what we're gonna work on today so I'm going to actually flip through this book here and see if I can find um, some frog anatomy to kind of make it look normal Anna says she's finished oh sorry Oh, thank you, Skylar. I appreciate it. I'm really hoping after this Wednesday and our yard gets sprayed and the dogs get new medicine that the whole flea fiasco will just go away and hopefully these deck people would hurry up and come do this before it snows so we're just like all set. Um, and Anna says she finished 16 illustrations. Well, that's really impressive because I'm on like five. <laughs> um, so very impressive for me, but for some reason I decided to work really huge. I'll show you guys. I have um, two more that I'm working on that are on the Gator board within the Wicked series. So I have this guy, which I of course decided to make an 11 by 14. I don't know why. Um, and then this one, which is an 8 by 10. So I have two that are 50% done and we'll be getting those videos up soon, but um, there's just been so much vacuuming and dog bathing going on that um, there just hasn't been time for painting so I figured I would come in here while my kids are at school and just kind of live stream with you guys and work on this project that we started and just make it part of Wicked and go from there. Oh yeah, you kept them simple. Yeah, I wish I would have done that. And I think I'm actually going to scale down a little bit and cut like some 8x10 paper in half so I don't have to like really spend that much time on them. Like I want them to look good, but I don't know. I just, I really like, I like spooky things all year round though. Like I'm one of those people that watches like the ghost shows like on the regular. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really find it very entertaining. And... Um, I like supernatural and fantasy type type of things and urban legends and whatnot. So, um, I don't know. And plus, you know, I paid for my intro and my outro and I only got to use it four times. So I figured I'd just keep, keep, keep on going. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I have no idea if there's even any amphibians in here. I kind of just skipped over the table of contents um I'm sorry if this is a boring part I haven't done a live in probably like a month and a half so I'm a little out of practice um, feather patterns hmm I have no idea if there is going to be any kind of frog stuff in this book which is kind of unfortunate so how was everybody's Halloween uh, mine was uh, a furnace repair which is the obvious because I just told you so I think we should do a bat wing I am not 100% powerful.
Oh, you've been drawing for a few years, and you're not too bad at this. I concur. I've been doing it a few years, too, and it's just like, there's always room for improvement, right? Uh, Anna says she went trick-or-treating with her son and two other kids in the neighborhood. That's awesome. I know, are you in the States or not? Um, in, uh, in Michigan, it was like borderline snowing. <laughs> so thankfully the kids went trick-or-treating at school. So we didn't really have to um, deal with that. Wow, yeah, Romania. What was the weather like on Halloween there? It always rains here in Michigan. And don't worry about replying late. You work on your script. I'm just background noise at this point. You don't celebrate Halloween, Skylord? I think Halloween's my favorite. I like Halloween, and for some reason I consider Shark Week a holiday, <laughs> so I really enjoy Shark Week, and then Christmas, and whatever. I don't really care for Christmas, um, just because there's a lot of pressure, like, it seems like it gets worse as you become a parent, it's like all of a sudden you have to put on this amazing holiday. Um, I love the winter, though. I love watching it snow, and I don't think I'm going to find any frogs in here, which is really Twenty-one degrees Celsius. Is that colder or warmer than Fahrenheit? I don't know why. I think we're like the only country that uses Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, I can relate to that. I can't imagine having to write a script for another language. Hi Courtney, how are you? Oh, you don't celebrate any holidays. Well. That's cool too. It's cool too. Holidays are a big hubbub as of recent years anyway, so. I do like the change of the seasons though, which is something that I really enjoy living in Michigan for, because as soon as I get tired of one season, the next one is right around the corner. Okay, so you're about 70 degrees. Yeah, we are. Let me tell you how warm it is here, or how cold it is. It's 50 and windy right here, Fahrenheit, so and then it's going to be 45 tomorrow, and then it's going into the 30s end of the weekend, and we might actually get some snow. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. How warm is it in California? <laughs> Oh, uh, so France doesn't get all four of the seasons? I feel like you have to live in a certain, like, I know, like, Florida doesn't get barely a fall or a winter, for that matter, so. I almost feel like I need to put some music on here. <laughs> Don't ask. Is that hot already? You don't have snow in France. That's really sad. I love snow. It's so pretty to look at. I mean, it's like, it's a pain in the butt when you have to shovel it. But like when you just want a nice cup of coffee and you don't want to do anything and you can just sit at the window and read a book and watch it snow, it is awesome. <clears throat> well, that's pretty cool in the morning for you, huh, Court? And Anna says it's usually colder and raining because fall, but the weather is changing. This week will be warm, and then we will feel the winter vibes. Yeah, I feel you. We have, um, in Michigan, we have fake summer, fake spring, fake fall. <laughs> and, and then it gets warm, and then it gets cold again. So um, we really like to bounce around in Michigan. Sometimes we have all four seasons in one week, which is um, very interesting and... 
kind of messes with everybody's sinuses. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get any look in this book. So I'm trying to find some kind of frog anatomy for those that are wondering what the heck I'm doing. It was almost 100 degrees, Courtney. Oh, that's so gross all year round. <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah, dear California, it's fall. That, that's, that's where I'm at. I can't be in the heat for that long of a time. I really don't like it. And for a while... Hey! We have some frogs. Cool. I was kind of thinking that I want him... Oh my god, look at his cute little face. Can you guys see that? Oh, he's so cute. I love it. All right. Well, apparently that's all I'm going to get from that. So we might have to go on Pinterest here. But that should help a little bit. But yeah, I'm really sad that I missed fall again. Because I did. Mmm. All right, so can you guys see this okay, or should I just work on my um, in my sketchbook and take a picture and put it in there? I wasn't really sure like how this was gonna work per se. I mean, I I wanted to pull this down a little bit, but every time I like it like focuses on my hand because this webcam doesn't really have like an autofocus thing that I can turn off so I have to kind of like work away from the thing so I think I'm gonna go in here and just do a new sketch and actually what I'm gonna do is should probably Google some frogs to see what what their bellies look like because if I'm explaining this correctly like I I want the jar sitting up and the frog's belly to be facing towards me so he's kind of like this in the jar like waiting to come out if that makes any sense welcome to Groundhog Day yep <laughs> Um, I wonder if I should Google frog belly. I don't typically use Google, but I guess we could try Pixabay really quick. I have no idea why, but I have such anxiety today. Oh. Let's kind of look what they look like. That's kind of weird. Um, <clears throat> so how many of you have uh, put your Christmas stuff up already? I know it's a big debate going on on Facebook of it's too early or not. I'm just gonna pull this up here so I can use. Oh, come on. first. Seriously. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm very slow today. Oh, well, I guess that's why it's not going to work. I guess we're going to have to use Google. Let's see if we can Google frog belly.
There we go. That should help us out a little bit. God, it's really quiet in here. And I forgot my water. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I started it like that. Oh, guys. I'm so freaking excited for Procreate 5 to come out, and it is just, like, taking forever. Oh, come on. Well... Let me go back over here. How do I do that? <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna have to work like that because I don't really feel like messing with this anymore. But, um, alright. So, I'm just going to work on this a little bit. And kind of, okay, so this is what I'm working off of. So I want to put the frog in a jar and call it, like, label it frog breath for this. So Courtney says, when I use the Wacom tablet with Photoshop, I notice where I set my, t my digital pin down is slightly off from where it makes the mark. Is Procreate like that too? No. Um, Procreate is not. It's very it's like drawing on paper like it there's very rarely any delay it's I literally feel like I'm sketching straight on like how I would in person what is that oh and then um, with the paper like screen protector it really feels like um, straight up like I'm sketching um, like on paper, if that makes any sense. I mean, it's obviously a little harsher on the eyes, but yeah, no, it's not off placement wise. Like, can you see that? It's very close. The only um, gap between there is between the pen and the glass. I don't know if it's like that with the regular Wacom's with the pen display, but um, yeah, I really like this. And Procreate is actually coming out with Procreate 5, and one of the things that's in it is the CMYK mode for printing. So as soon as that comes out, I'm getting rid of Photoshop just because I don't really feel like learning it, and this kind of works for me, but that's just me. Maybe one day when I... Uh, get the patience for it or whatever but I like the the fact that you can you know take this and do this everywhere like I don't you know that's why I wanted it was so I could just leave the office and make it <laughs> make art that way but yeah no I'm really excited for procreate five all right so I'm just gonna kind of warm up my hand here because I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. It's been like four days since I've painted anything and I'm like completely out of practice so I'm just gonna kind of fart around and warm up my hand. If you didn't design what feel like it should be like a cookie jar shape maybe yeah I don't like that and then make it more round sorry my dryer is going off in there But what do you need 
like what do you use Photoshop for design? Like what specifically? Oh yeah, maybe one of those would be good. I'm just going to... This is really awkward. I really wish this thing would cooperate. It usually goes to where I can split screen it and it's being annoying and I think it's because I haven't updated my iPad yet because I don't wanna. Maybe they change something, but usually you can just put it there and it will be like half the screen so you can use all your stuff. Yeah, I think, um, okay, so Courtney's saying you can't do a lot of photo manipulation and procreate the way you can Photoshop. Um, and there's a lot of design tools in Photoshop that procreate doesn't have for your taste. Okay, but um, for, for me, for somebody that hasn't, I've come to find out that the people that have only used Photoshop in the past tend to like not get down with procreate um sorry that was like really in my face but the people that haven't done any digital work and start with procreate really like procreate so if that makes any sense they're trying to kind of like I just feel like this layout is very intuitive like it's easy to change the canvas size it's easy to change like anything you want to change like you can an you know animate png gif and then your canvas information you can crop and resize canvas information you know what i mean like it's just it's very intuitive and easy for me to learn like i don't like spending a lot of time learning a program versus doing art, if that makes any sense. Yeah, a lot of people use both. Like they start with uh, Procreate as kind of like a sketchbook and then they, um, they export it as a Photoshop file and then upload it to Photoshop and then take it to finish. I think Will Terry does that too. Yeah, there's a huge learning curve with Photoshop and there's so many different options. Like if it was just a drawing program, I think I would like it better, but like all of the the photo editing tools and everything just it's just too overwhelming for me. And I honestly hate paying monthly for it. Like I've I've used it once and I've been paying for 3 3 months. <laughs> so, I am going to cancel it and just do um all of my um my bigger pieces, I'm just going to call, um, go down to the professional place and get them, what do they call them? They call them an art capture where they have these huge scanners and scan it in for you. Um, so the only thing I was using Photoshop for was photo merge <laughs> because I was using bigger pieces. So I would have to scan it in two separate sections and then merge the photo together. But to be honest, I didn't like it and, um, I didn't really care for how it printed out. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm just gonna doodle because I suck. So I don't know why I'm doodling so small, but there we go. Yeah, I really want this on this side. Why is it doing this? Oh. There we go. There we go. Hey, <laughs> we just figured out blues clues. Oh my God. 
That was a freaking nightmare. I'm about to say, it's like usually pretty easy. Got something on the tip of my pen. All right, so. I don't know, now I kind of like your mason jar idea. Let me um, put a new layer in here and then bring the opacity of this one down so I can draw over it. <clears throat> what do those look like? They're like, um, the clear, like almost the, like the flower containers. Uh, Michael said, did you and Courtney do Inktober together again? No, we, um, life just got thrown at us and we weren't able to. <laughs> and, uh, there was just the daily video thing seemed to be a little overwhelming this year. So we did not. You did abandon Inktober this year. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I want to keep doing the project, but like, I don't know. Maybe just, I like, part of me feels like I need to do like winter stuff too. But I guess we could just throw some studies in, in between. My furnace is kicking on, so let me know how annoying that's going to be. No, I think we should do it again next year, though. That was a lot of fun. Maybe we'll just do work smaller so we can get it all done. Inktober is very, like, overwhelming when you're, like, trying to make it really cool. What is the matter with you? You see this crap, right? Like, I'm sitting here talking Procreate up, and it's being dumb now. Maybe I have too many apps open. Let's see what's going on here. Oops. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> da -da -da -da. They're called clamp dirt. How loud is that furnace? <laughs> It's gonna be amazing in here this winter. It doesn't get hot at all. It's like, it's a lot of work every day inking. Yeah, it definitely is. It, part of me wants to abandon ship with Wicked and maybe pick it up next year, but like, I also really like it. Yeah, we need to start in January if we're gonna do it. it Yeah, I can agree with you there. I'm still kind of recovering from last year, but I really liked last year. Um, I know once I finish this, I might just do kind of like Wicked until um, Thanksgiving-ish, and that way I will be able to kind of do winter stuff in December and, you know, like paint snow and, you know, I really wanted to design my own Christmas card to mail out, um, but... I don't know. I'm just going to kind of do what I want or what I feel like doing and take it from there. Yeah, we definitely need to do. Yeah, I'm. it's right there. <laughs> this is why I couldn't freaking stream on Halloween because the furnace was getting replaced. Let me turn the... Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, we have the switch on it too. Let me, um, it'll kick off in a minute. I'm really sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is why I was like worried about live streaming in the winter. I'm like, crap. But yeah, if it's that loud, that's why I usually listen to my audiobook while I'm in here. But, uh, Oh, that's an eraser. Hello. But yeah, I don't... Photoshop is very overwhelming for me right now, and I have, like, zero desire to learn it, especially because this is kind of working for me, <laughs> and I can take it places. 
so there's that. I'm really sorry you guys, it is really obnoxiously loud. I guess I should make it up here so you can see it. Do you want me to switch to my sketchbook? Is this annoying? Yeah, it's... What are you doing in a, like, power washing garage? It's freaking huge. Ridiculous. What is happening? You see this crap, Courtney? There we go. Just because I told you how awesome it was, and now all of a sudden being dumb. I should actually probably see if there's an update for it. Because I know they did a bug. can't remember how to update my apps is um, beyond me should be the purchased has never not worked before no it's updated so I don't know just gonna run slow just because I guess it was a good collab last year you should do something together it doesn't have to be inked over yeah yep uh, it's it's because I was just talking it up that's why <laughs> but they are about to release a brand new version of this and I'm really excited about it, it actually has like an animation thing in it and sometimes it might be my iPad too. Yeah, it's my iPad. That's why. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. I was just saying how awesome it was, that's why. So anyway, let's work out some stuff over here. Actually, I could just talk to me. Talk to you. Yeah, they added an animation feature, which I'm really excited about. I don't have an iPhone. You can try it out on your iPhone. They have one, it's like Procreate Pocket. I heard it's pretty good. I actually was going to try it on my, come on, Furnace. You know what? Flip the switch because that's annoying. <coughs> yeah, I knew I should have updated that before I went on. I was going to, and I was like, no, if I update it, it won't work right. What's interesting, I feel like I didn't, I just stuck at life today. I honestly don't even know why I'm continuing to go live because. <sighs> Where's my page with all the things on it? There it is. All right. Well, at least I can keep my hand warm up. Oh, Procreate Pocket. Yeah, you can try it out on there, and you can try it out with um, whatever stylus you have, I think, if it'll let you. I don't know if you can use a stylus or just your finger. I have no idea. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Okay, it's almost done updating, but yeah, I honestly don't even know what's happening. This is this has been my month. Like, just everything that can go wrong will go wrong. That's what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea if I should turn that on or not. There we go. All right. And I forgot my water. But yeah. 
I almost feel like I should just paint on one of the ones that I was working on, but I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of having the story over the video. <laughs> so that's where we are. Uh, yep, yep. Um, all right. Just flip this over. You guys are. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. <clears throat> I got this beautiful sketchbook from the Sketchbook Co. Um, a lot of artists on YouTube were talking about her, and um, this is so cool. She like makes watercolor sketchbooks out of old books and puts like watercolor paper in them and everything. I cannot wait to freaking use this. I think I'm going to fill this whole thing up with like studies. It is just gorgeous. I cannot wait. I cannot wait at all. Super stoked. But yeah, I love that. All right, well, like I said, we'll just keep drawing here and I can take a picture of it and upload it to Procreate. And we have a door opening. Okay. Trying to make sure you guys can see that. I almost want these jars to look really... I just feel like I'm completely off my game this week. Just because... I feel like there's something going on in the atmosphere too. Like there's just, everybody's angry. And I'm trying to stay not angry, but like I'm angry. <laughs> Especially with all the crap that's going on. leather yeah I wanted one of those I actually I got one for Christmas last year but I don't really like the paper that's in it um but I can really work on it with like pens or I don't know maybe even charcoal who knows I honestly have no freaking idea what I'm doing right now I feel completely out of it. Does anybody feel like that this week? Like, I feel completely lost within myself. <laughs> like, just lost. And I feel like I got, like, the whole thing wrong here. just paint what I already have because apparently I'm not very good at drawing today. Oh cool, so you get to pick your own paper then. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a, a Fabriano but it's like a cotton mix so I don't know if I'm going to like it. Though this one here, the Stratmore, I guess is partially wood pulp and I really like this one so I don't know we'll just have to see see how it goes but yeah I'm, I feel like I'm struggling with anything creative right now and I feel like it's just because there's so much pressure with everything else in my life that's going on I feel like I can't catch a break this month and I have no idea why. I don't know why I'm doing that. I have no idea why I'm trying to do it like that. Makes no sense.
How many erasing can you do, Kelly? I feel like you guys are just watching me choke. Kelly went live and choked today. It's awesome. early but I already feel like I need a cocktail today. So I'm feeling it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> Alright, well I don't know why I'm really messing with that as much as I am, but here we go. I feel like I sketch really awkward. <clears throat> Weird. Is anybody reading or listening to any good books right now? I am uh, listening to the Mercy Thompson series um, on Audible, and it's narrated by Lorelai King, and it's just like this awesome, awesome kind of like supernatural fantasy thing and the main character is like a walker and she turns into a coyote and she's like involved with a wolf pack and she's friends with a vampire and uh fae and it's just like the characters are so cool and it's just narrated so well i really don't know what i'm doing with the bottom of this jar just let it go kelly oh, i'm trying to get fancy when i just need <laughs> something like that <clears throat> all right no, naturally, I can't get my Google references, so I guess I could use my phone. Life is hard. I'm sorry, Michael says, life is hard. I rushed home from work to coach a lady soccer team, but it was canceled because of the weather. It's crap. And I'm reading Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, illustrated by... By Bernie Writingston. Wow, I didn't know they had an illustrated version of that. I'm going to have to check it out. Um, I just came across, um, I think it was Edgar Allan Poe, like an illustrated version of The Raven, and I wanted to check that out. That's in my Amazon cart. And I really, really liked the way it was illustrated. It was very cool looking. Almost like Tim burton -y, which was... Uh, pretty cool. I don't know why I forgot I had my phone, but. <laughs> I can definitely check it out over here. I feel like I can't do anything today and I already had like four cups of coffee. <gasps> Yeah, I'll definitely have to check him out, especially if he does pen and ink. I'm really like addicted to it. I also um I'm like really wanting to itch my like not itch, I don't know why I said itch, but um ballpoint pen art like I really want to start messing with that too just to kind of fart around with it and see what I like it's really weird I'm starting to miss my colored pencils too but um it's just one of those things I get very bored really quick and I might have to kind of put this wicked thing on the back burner for a while but I I really want to finish it I really liked it but I feel like people are just kind of like over as soon as November 1st hits like nobody really wants to um watch horror anymore like you have to go with the seasons or whatever and I'm just not about that life like I said I like spooky things all year round 
All right, let's see if this will work now. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think I like that one. Well, I'm just going to keep doing it in here, I guess, since I like the shape of this one a little bit better. Any cool TV shows I need to check out? Hi, RW's Arts. How are you? Hopefully you're having a good day. I almost feel like I need to put some music on. It's a shame copyright's so annoying. I don't want to just listen to plain like classical. Like it's really hard to do that for me. I'm just gonna rough this in. I feel like I want it to be like a really fat frog. It's going, that's good. At least it's going. It's like that um, Meet the Crudes, still alive. That's where I'm at too, still alive. So that's good. And I can refine this later on the iPad if it decides to work for me now. I honestly don't know what the damage was with that. It's really weird. I'm like your daughter. She loves horror and spooky things. She had a Halloween party on Saturday. Wow. It's not that big in Scotland? Hmm. And Anna says that she is taking a break from the script. Is that mouse pad from Catnip? Yes, it is. This is from Catnip Illustrations. I also have her baby shark enamel pin. I love it. It's so cute. I gotta find something to put it on though. I don't really like the style of my jean jacket, so I want to get a cool one to kind of collect them on. Using this as a rough, I'd like to kind of give it some more character later, stylize it a little bit more, but I just want to kind of get the anatomy somewhat correct <laughs> so I know what I can stylize and accentuate. Frog feet make me smile. I know, I love the shark pen, it's so cute. Closing Ecamm Live may help your Mac cool down. Oh, apparently my Mac's upset. Maybe it's the light over here. Doesn't feel warm. Close one of those. 
applications. That's really weird. Everything's just not on me today. See, my Mac's acting up, my iPad's acting up, all the things are acting up. Procreate starts to act up as soon as I talk good about it. Figures. But when it cooperates, it's freaking awesome. like a frog belly. Um, RW Art said they just found out that Fix-It spray works on both pen, pencil, colored pencil, and even metal flake ink pens that's interesting i didn't even know i'm gonna have to write that down i don't know what metal flake ink pens are <clears throat> oh, let me write it on the back of that i have to look that up I feel like it's so freaking quiet in here you guys I'm so sorry now that the furnace is off it doesn't sound like we're in a jet anymore but now it's like obnoxiously quiet I don't even know what to talk about other than um, the book I'm reading, which is, it's weird because it's making me kind of want to do like a um, Native American based lore and um, urban legends and myths and stuff like that. Like, I'm really into it. They're similar to glitter pens, but better. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to look that up because that sounds awesome. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go the same way this one went. Their little fingers are so goofy, but they're so cute. these don't look like there we go hmm well I guess all right so in procreate I can kind of like scoot him in the center We'll kind of make this a glass jar, I guess. And then figure out where we want to label it and maybe just label it like underneath it or we can put some kind of tag. On it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep going with this wicked thing and just like 
do you want to see it or should I just like put it on hold until tomorrow or <laughs> until tomorrow <laughs> until uh next October or just kind of go until I don't want to go anymore that looks weird I feel like I cannot draw anything today I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to take a photo and send that to my iPad and we'll kind of put him in place too. <clears throat> our actual thing here. Let's put him on the iPad. We guys still, we're still good here, right? On the stream. Wow, we've been doing this for an hour already. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now we can go back into Procreate. Add a layer, insert a photo, that one, and then fit him into place. And then what I like to do is take my eraser, tone that down a little bit. And then just kind of fit him into place. And then once we have everything kind of laid out the way we want it, we can do the final ink work and then print it out and transfer it to our watercolor paper. And then actually ink it. This one might be the final piece though because it's so big and awkward. Okay. Have a rest if you don't feel so good. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, I don't even know, like. It's like I said in the beginning of the stream, it's just. It's been such a month of just one thing after another. It's just so exhausting. I don't even know, like, how to go about continuing anything like, I feel like the world just keeps hitting things at me and I'm like trying not to lose it <laughs> if that makes any sense I don't know why I keep saying that either but that's what I'm saying okay so what else should we draw today I have a vial of blood a jar of eyeballs kind of want to do dead man's toe how should we go about doing that one and I don't really like these words up here, but um, you're way behind on times because you had no idea that the art software was so good. Yeah, I I really lucked out. I bought the iPad because of the the app Procreate. Because the Wacom's and Photoshop is just so expensive to get started on when you're, like, new. And, I mean, if anything, if you don't like the app, I mean, Adobe Fresco just came out. And there's a bunch of other free ones that you might like. But at least you're not out thousands of dollars if you don't like the drawing on the iPad thing like you can still use the iPad as an iPad or a computer or a tablet so that's why I kind of went that way just so I would be a little on the safe side all right um so now we need some like toes hmm 
And my dog's gonna act a fool. Yeah, I don't know. I think after the new year, I'm definitely going to be done with projects for a while and just kind of like do a lot of studies. This is animal anatomy. Where is the human anatomy book? Well, I guess we'll just look it up on my phone because my dog's having a hissy fit. <laughs> Uh, Pixabay, where are you? <clears throat> Got a bunch of baby toes. Like I said, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> That's where we are at this year. I'm actually pretty excited for this year to just be over. Maybe I'll have some better luck next year. Just with life in general. <laughs> um... You'd have to go out and get a few contract killings to afford the prices that I just spoke of. Yeah, it's really expensive. This one wasn't so bad. I was mad because um, right after I got the big one, they came out with the new $300 one that was compatible with the Apple Pencil, and I really could have spent a lot less, so I was really upset. Thank you, Courtney. I'm trying to... I don't know. What should I pay? I kind of am debating between Raven's Claw and Dead Man's Toe next for the the poster. I'm not quite sure what I want to do, but this anatomy book's here, so maybe we'll get lucky. And I just want to get, like, the basic anatomy right and just keep it sketchy and then work some stylizing into it. <laughs> You're biased to Raven. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning that way since this book is right here and just kind of figure out. And I know they have Ravens in here because I already, but this is a skull book. So maybe. This book is awesome too, by the way, for any kind of reference that you might need. Is anybody on Skillshare? Um, what's her name? I want to say Jen Gradbury. I'm like taking her class on, um, I'm watching it. I'm not doing anything yet, but, um, Jenny Granberry, yeah. Her, she's got a new skull class on Skillshare, and it is so awesome. I was like, oh my god. And she like paints them in watercolor, but like the way she like chose the color palette is just really interesting. I was like, that is so cool. I want to paint skulls. Is that a piranha? Wow, I've never heard of a wolf fish. See, this is why I can take forever on everything, because I just like to look. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do next year. I think I'm going to finish this Wicked thing, hopefully by the end of the year, and then possibly order a zine if you guys want it. Um, if not, maybe I'll just do... Ha! There's my skull that you guys didn't see yet. Posted it on Instagram. 
Uh, yeah, just skulls, no feet. My dog sounds like your old dog. I have to put him to sleep on May 2nd. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. That's awful. I can't, I'm not even going to try to think about it. And all of my dogs are like getting up there in age there between like 8 and 12. <laughs> and it's just like, I know it's coming soon. I just don't want to deal with that. You need a botanical book. Oh, I got to show you. This is what I got from the library. I obviously have to return it. But it's a uh, folklore and symbolism of flowers and plants. So it has like all like like the Greek flowers and stuff and like the meanings and the myths and stuff that go behind it. So like the lotus. Um, sorry, that was probably really loud. It has like a flower candle a thing, but it's got also all of the like the lore that's associated with the like the hawthorn was um, used as a charm against witchcraft and sorcery it has all the history in it and it's so cool I was like yeah I need to borrow this book from the library and obviously it's for this project but um yeah I have no idea where my stuff is oh I was supposed to look at this one I don't know guys I feel like I need to go get some more coffee and I might have to be done for today because I just wanted to update you but um I don't know I just can't seem to get out of this funk that I'm in and it's just like breaking my heart but like my stress level is super high I should probably go to Birds 218. <clears throat> I got all these books for Christmas, by the way, if you were wondering where I got them from. Most of them are available on Amazon. And they are awesome. Okay. <sighs> Just because, like... You can see what's underneath everything that you're trying to draw, so it makes it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it looks like we're going back to Google. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm just gonna use this because it's bigger. Sorry, you guys. I, I honestly have no idea why I'm so not in the mood for this today. But like, I just wanted to pop on and get some work done. And it's so hard to get like focus on this when like the to-do list is the you know my life to-do list is just getting so long. It's just really nerve-wracking. These birds have some vicious claws, man. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yowza. I feel so bad for these birds. They have such a bad rap, but they're so cool looking.
And then the crow, man, they have like a really bad rap. But I mean, if you're a scavenger, you're a scavenger. You can't help it, you know? Somebody's got to be the cleanup crew. Definitely wouldn't want to get grabbed by one of these bad boys. Holy cow. I saw um, a brown eagle flying around in our area the other day. It's like, it's weird because we have ravens and hawks, not ravens, but like we have hawks around here and they seem huge. And then you actually see an eagle and you're like, holy crap, that thing's small compared to the eagle, you know? It's like, so amazing that these animals are just popping up out of nowhere. We usually see wild turkeys this time of year on our street, which is always interesting because there's like a giant flock of them and they just kind of like congregate and cross the street at the same time. It's just, it's really interesting to look at. I'll have to take a photo for you guys next time so you can see what I'm talking about. I feel like I draw very different than a lot of people. Like the way I go about it. Everybody else seems to do gestures and stuff. Line of action and I'm just kind of like, I'm gonna draw the way I want to. If that quote ends up in a future novel of mine, don't be mad. If you gotta be a scavenger, you gotta be a scavenger. <laughs> somebody's gotta be the cleanup crew. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Well, at least somebody's gonna find me entertaining for today. <laughs> we have red tail hawks and they are so beautiful. I love watching. Honestly, it's like freaking amazing. I mean, but everybody around here has to like put their little dogs in the house. Because we're like all like, oh my god, our dogs are going to get swooped up. And uh, one of them in the spring made a, a dive for my smallest dog. But I think they kind of like misjudged her size. She got really lucky and one of the, one of the bigger dogs actually stopped it from happening. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. I was like, holy crap, Sophie, like you're a pretty big dog. Like it was just weird to see um to see it actually happen i would hate to be a chihuahua when there's hawks and ravens and stuff flying around and eagles yowza 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 i have no idea that sucks because i'm finally back into a rhythm but the kids don't have school tomorrow because it's election day so Hopefully I'll be able to work tomorrow night on um, some of the ones I was showing you guys earlier. Like I said, there's like two that are about 50% done and I just got to finish them up and I'm like editing the video while I'm doing it. So, and looking at the lore. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm not doing anything because I have never been this busy in my life, but um, I really want it to be the way I want it. I visualized it in my head, you know, so hopefully you guys don't mind. I can't believe I really said that. Is that really how I said that, Courtney? <laughs> God, I say the most random things. should be really glad I'm not drinking today. I think that's why I don't paint and wine anymore. <laughs> But we're going to have to do that again soon, though. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. I might do that on my Facebook page. I don't know. It's a really weird claw. Hmm.
Yeah, taking a drive is something that uh, I definitely need to do because I was actually going to go for a walk today, but I just freaking lost track of time and got distracted again. Courtney says she needs something that says author at work. Anything you say can and will be used in a novel. That is hilarious and that should be a, a Teespring shirt. Most definitely. There is a character in the Rogue Portal that would say that? Oh man, I can't wait to actually read more of that. All right, I think I'm going to finish this claw here and call it done because as far as I can tell, these deck people might have shown up. And somebody's really pacey in the house. So. And then maybe we'll continue this on again because um, I'm hoping, what is today? Today is Monday. The kids don't have school on Tuesday, but I'm hoping to have another video up Thursday and then maybe we can live stream either Friday or Saturday and we'll do like a paint and wine version of that. Sorry, you guys, I have no idea what's going on up there. Sounds like somebody is definitely moving some furniture. <laughs> <sighs> And then hopefully when I, like when you ink things, I just feel like it gives the lines more character. So hopefully um, that will come out. And then this part of the claw that I'm about to draw here, it actually has a lot of, um, you know, like the texture on a dog's nose. It's got a lot of that going on. So I actually really am excited to paint this because it's going to be very interesting to paint. <laughs> Oh, I swear, I need to just get a, a she shed already because that's the only time it's going to be quiet in this house. <laughs> There's so much noise. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. That's not a right spot. Right yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. I mean, because I really do like what, um, what I'm producing out of this project. Um, so maybe we can just keep working on it and then in December I'll throw some Christmassy videos in as well and then uh, maybe we can do the giveaway on like New Year's Eve like a good little party giveaway kind of thing it's actually really interesting because I wanted to talk to you guys because um my mom has been selling the this paparazzi jewelry and I'm not trying to sell you jewelry or anything but the way she does her live streams and the giveaway is really cool. It's, um, she played bingo yesterday and then, um, like she'll ask for like the 15th person to type, um, like a certain emoji and then that one gets a prize and stuff. It's very cool. So, um, I'm kind of thinking about doing that and maybe doing the giveaway on a live stream on New Year's Eve if that would be cool, depending on how long this takes me. But like I said, I really, um, I really like what's happening with the project and I don't really want to rush it anymore, especially now that Inktober's over. Um, so if you guys don't mind the stories and stuff, I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe throw a couple other videos in, in between. Why does that look so weird?
<laughs> but anyway, that's just the thought. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do because I do really like the project. And I like the the cohes the cohesiveness of the palette. Um the Columbia River is where I have seen plenty of eagles. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, Anna, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. But <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's what I think I'm going to do, but I'm going to continue on with this project just because I do really like what's happening there. And then I plan on doing some anatomy practice. And as far as I know, I'm kind of putting the whole Red Riding Hood thing on hold just because um, I feel like I need more anatomy practice uh, before I get into the whole portraits and um, characters thing. So I was, <laughs> I was having a bit of difficulty with it. That's why it kind of stopped and you guys haven't seen any videos. It was because I was having a lot of problems with the anatomy and whatnot. Um, so yeah. That is why you haven't seen any of the Red Riding Hood calendar things. But I don't know. To be honest, I'm just kind of... As much as I wanted, I was excited about it last time I started it, I wasn't just really feeling it anymore. <laughs> um, and that happens with projects, I guess. So I'm really enjoying this one, so I am going to continue doing it until I'm done with it. That is for sure. All right. Um, how do I have this set up here? All right, I'm going to take a photo of this one too, and then we'll put that on our little poster, and then I'm probably going to have to go here because it is getting, um, there's some stuff I have to do before my kids get home, but uh, I did just want to update you guys and let you know that I didn't quit. Um, I still really like the project and there's just been a lot going on and I'm going to continue on with the project but I didn't want to put like an update video um, in the series because I didn't want to ruin the vibe of it for those of you that are just popping on I know I've already said it before but that's basically what's going on and then I don't know what I'm doing wrong one share this to you my iPad I freaking love airdrop man <clears throat> all right I'm gonna add oop, another layer up here and insert this photo hmm I wonder if I should put it upside down. What do you guys think? Should we do it like this? Or like this? Hmm. I feel like the feather's throwing me off a little bit. <clears throat> drunk at yeah I've honestly done paint and wine before and I had to stop after like two hours into it because the wine was good. like you just don't want to do things you'll regret on on the internet so um but it was a lot of fun and it did kill the nerves for me uh which was you know one of the things that I was really nervous about so um it was a lot of fun and everybody else was like drinking wine with me and and watching so it was pretty cool so I probably will do that. I think um, if I get 
the zine that goes with it done in early December or the end of the year if I decide to do a zine. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if they're even popular anymore at this point. But I didn't plan on giving away the zines anyway, so I planned on doing like pins and sticker sheets and prints just because I have them already here and I can mail them out whenever. So I do kind of think that would be a cool live stream like on New Year's, New Year's Eve and to kind of like finalize the, um, the year with the last project that I did and then just bring in the year with something new, right? It's kind of what I'm thinking. All right. I think I like it this way better. And then you should get just a little bit. Yeah, and then I can put like a tag or something on that, and then the vial of blood will go there. And then um, while I have some free time, I'll sketch on these. And then hopefully uh, the next live will just finish this up. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to update you guys without having to kind of like ruin the aesthetic of the video. Um, the video series. So I hope you enjoyed watching today. And um, I will be seeing you soon for either another live or a new video. And thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I'll see you soon.